Welcome back. Today we start the floor on the minivan micro camper conversion. And as promised, I shaved. And it's a fairly warm uh, late July morning. And the first thing we have to do is make sure that our garage floor or whatever surface you're going to be working on is level. I've chosen to work in the garage so we're out of the sun. So let's check the floor and make sure we are level. So just a long span of metal here. And we look here and we are level front to back. Turn this now side to side. And check the floor side to side. And we are essentially level. So we should be good to go. Uh, nice level surface to work on. Let's go bring the van on inside. Last time we took out the seats here, we're going to leave these stow and go seats up in the front for right now. And we have to decide, do we want the entire floor to be level? Or do we just want to put a floor over this floor and then level the bed? Um, different schools of thought on this. And we'll talk about both and then talk about which one we're going to go with to start. So first, let's talk about a level floor throughout the entire back of the van. If we were to level the floor from all the way at the back corner up to the seats as far as we can come, the bottom of this 2x4 is where the floor would be. Which is okay, but you see on this side of the van, let's go over there and take a look. It creates a higher floor, obviously. So you would have a step up into the van and then a step up onto the floor, which would be right here. But you get all this extra underfloor storage when you have a level floor. And then don't forget in the stow and go compartment, that'll all be empty. However, it does take away your, your headroom because your floor will be here instead of down here. So you do lose headroom the closer you go to the front of the van. Now what we've decided to do to start is we're going to just put a floor over the floor that's already in the van and there will be a little drop down right here as you transition from the back seats, the middle row seats to the front seats. So we're just going to cover all of this with OSB oriented strand board. And then we'll cover that with a flooring, like a vinyl flooring. And then when we put the bed in, we'll just level the bed. So when we're sleeping, as long as we're parked on a level surface, the bed will be level. The rest really doesn't matter that much. And then maybe on a uh, future um, rebuild of the van. Maybe we'll level the floor and try it that way and just be able to compare the difference. So let's start making a pattern for the floor because we need to have a pattern for the plywood 
or the OSB would when we cut it and put it in. Also, we're only going to put flooring from this area forward, okay? The, the back area is going to be what they commonly refer to as a trunk. Trunk space or garage space. So this area here will all be storage and we may put uh, some cabinetry right here or over on this side, but we're not going to floor this area in just yet. Just from this point where the third row seats connect forward. Okay, so far so good. Um, we just have to finish up this side here, get this radius cut. And to do that, you see here, we have a pretty close fit. It doesn't have to be perfect. What I did to get that cut or that line is make this real high-end compass gadget. I just taped a marker to a screwdriver and then I ran the screwdriver along the edge that I needed to scribe out and it transfers the radius of the wall or the distance of the wall to the cardboard to the cardboard and it'll make your cut. You can see that matches pretty good. So we're going to do that over here on this side and our pattern should be done. If you said this would be easier with paper, I'm not going to argue. But I don't have any paper here and I don't feel like running to the dollar store, so cardboard is what we used. Now, if you watched the last video, you'll remember I said start where you are. You know, we, we can make all kind of excuses for not doing it right now. I could have waited to go to the dollar store and get paper instead of using the cardboard. But then maybe that would have been tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow something else would have came. You know what? Start where you are. I have cardboard. I did it. So start where you are. At the beginning of the video, we did say make sure that your floor that you're working on is level when you're trying to do your floor. If you're doing a floor like us, it doesn't matter because we need to level the bed. So when we cut the wood or the platform for the bed, then we have to make sure we're on a level surface. If we're just putting the floor on the floor of the van, no big deal. Okay, let's measure up our floor. Get an idea of how big a piece of wood we need. So front to back, 61 inches. And side to side is about 60 inches, 59 and a half. So 61 by 59 and a half. You might have noticed in the time lapse that I measured the width from this side and then created my cut line and I realized the cut line went right through all of this writing. So then I went over here and measured this way and my cut line literally follows a printed line on the OSB. So we will cut off this side. This is scrap and then from here over we've got good flooring.
59 and a half by, should be 61, 61. So it's 59 and a half by 61. Now we just have to bring our pattern out of the band, plop it on here, trace it and cut it. did make some marks here so you can see the arrow is pointing to the front of the van and that's the right side and then this is the left side arrow pointing to the front of the van. So these are the areas I've got to cut out right there and right there and I'm sure easier said than done but whatever we're just making a micro camper van conversion for ourselves it's not like it's a uh, you know high-end camper build it's gonna be good enough for us that's all that matters I need to wash my hands Ba bam there you go now it's not perfect right here we're off a little no big deal we're going to be covering that up the radiuses look pretty good come around this side here that side looks really good and this side is not bad get the shadow in there so you can see and again we're going to be covering this up so what we need to do now is build a skeleton system for under this to level this back part here with the front part because like I said about halfway up through here there's a little step off it makes the front part a little lower than the back so we want to raise it up so at least it doesn't flex and bend while we're stepping on it so we'll do that next but I think that's all we're going to do for today um, we'll do the skeleton in the morning and, uh, hopefully be ready to put down a floor tomorrow. In the meantime, we do have to clean up because after all, this is a Jeep garage and baby's Jeep parts right here. So I got to get to cleaning. Uh, oh, I think that looks pretty good. Let's go get the Jeep. All right. Now, baby's Jeep is named Kane. 
after one of her favorite wrestlers. She's a big WWE fan. That will about do it for today. Next time we will put in the two by two or two by four skeleton under the floor for the flooring to attach to and maybe cut the access panels for the under floor storage as well as maybe get the vinyl flooring down. So that'll all be next. Hopefully you will enjoy that video or join us for that video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and we will hopefully see you then. Take care.